Hello and welcome. So I have had this particular mystery box since the very end of October. So they actually got it to me kind of early and I keep putting it off and I can't wait to see what's inside. So let's just open it already. Ta-da! Pencil case. I have one of these. They came with a, what do you call it? <laughs> They came in a box that came with pencils, I should say, because this is basically a pencil case and it's like hefty felt. So I think I read somewhere that this is their anniversary box. Yeah, fifth anniversary. That's a cute little sticker. And so as a gift, they gave everyone these. So that was quite nice. And Amsterdam acrylics. Okay, I've heard of Amsterdam. I just don't know anything about them. So a nice selection of colors here. I'm, I'm liking that a lot. Do I like acrylics? Undecided. What else? Ugh, more crescent boards. <laughs> Just not my favorite. Although I think I read somewhere that they also have kind of redone some of their boards. So maybe they're better now. But not my favorite thing. And Art Alternatives Real Canvas. Very affordable brand, but Feels good, looks decent. Wow, they were generous here. Okay, so they replaced the pen from last time that was faulty, except this one looks like it's gray. Yep, it's gray. Very pretty though. Yeah, so they did replace it. If you missed that whole thing, I will put that in the video link in the corner for you. What else? A purple Posca. Interesting, I wonder why they chose purple, but I like it. And Oh, a nice brush. What is this? Robert Simmons Sapphire 8. Nice. And, oh, a palette knife. All right. So we have lots of options. Let's go see what the prompts are and figure out what we're supposed to paint this time. All right, here's the website with all the information. Yep, fifth anniversary. This is just the list of everything you got. So if you'd like to pause and read some of those. They also, what's cool about them doing this online is they can link these other tutorials and examples right here so if you don't know how to use something they usually have a link for that all right here's the prompts abstract landscape trending sky and fairy hmm well i will give that some thought and be right back with you and i pretty well decide and then pull out some supplies to do some swatching <laughs> it's fun to mix the colors and see what kind of purple we get and what kind of, I didn't try green since it came with a green, but it would have been fun. I should have mixed the colors and seen if the green that we got by mixing them was any different than this one, but I did mix an orange and then put white in with them and just kind of seen what kind of pastels I could get. It was really fun. And I did make a brown and then I lightened the brown and I got paint on my hands. Imagine that. Big surprise there. There they are. And right after that, I did pull out another board, and the picture that I'm using as a reference is up there in the top left corner for you to see real quick. And I definitely pulled out my Stay Wet palette this time, because the last time I worked with acrylics, I'm like, no, I'll be fast, I can deal with this, and they just dried way too quickly. And I could tell from just when I did my swatches on that ceramic plate that these paints were also going to dry really, really quickly. So pulled out the Stay Wet palette, I had a very dirty piece of paper in it that I just kind of folded over in half. You can kind of see that on the right. That's why it looks like it's dirty because I have a completely covered piece of paper because it's special paper you have to use in the Stay Wet palettes. But anyway, I folded it in half so I could use the back side of it without putting the paint side down on my sponge. And this worked great. It kept the paint nice and wet the whole time. And I have a lot of paint left after I finish this. So it'll be interesting to see if I check it next week, if it might still be, I was going to say dry, but that would be the wrong word, if it's still wet, and if I can use it or not, if I even want to use it or not. Acrylics aren't my favorite medium. But speaking of acrylics, these remind me a lot of the Liquitex Basics, and the Liquitex Basics are the acrylic paint that I have the most familiarity with. They're the ones that I've used the most, because I do have a few other brands, but these are definitely, in my opinion, just like them, at least in these colors that I used in this painting. They're very transparent. They're very thin. They, what do you call that, dilute really easily with water. So they're relatively easy to use because they felt just like the acrylics I've 
used always. <laughs> so I guess that's a good thing, question mark? <laughs> Definitely not a heavy body acrylic, that's for sure. Yeah, they're, they're very transparent, at least for the most part, just like the Liquitex can be also. And you can see here that I did pull out the Posca marker and use that at the last minute. There's just some, I don't know, little things in the mountains and then to draw the little fairy lady. Alrighty, another palette pack successfully wrapped up. We did the prompt abstract landscape quite clearly. We looked into trending. I'll put that footage in now. <laughs> so I'm on YouTube. How do I get to trending? You go to... Is mine different than yours? Ah. Ah. Wait. Go back up. Oh, what? Mine's different. Hit search. How do I hit search? Just, oh, up there? Just search. Uh, hmm. Hmm. How about... Uh... Uh... <laughs> Shoot. This is not working. Uh, this isn't working. <laughs> um. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go to explore, maybe. Uh huh. Trending. Trending. There Ta -da. It is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you follow Rory? I don't know. Wait, go back down. Go, go back real quick. But I'm recording this. Well, hang on. So here's trending. First thing that pops up inside the NBA guy reacts. No, that's lame. That's lame. Well, there's. Trail Mater. Huh. It's on the rise. Wow. I haven't even watched one of his videos, so. So, all this trending stuff is stupid, so maybe I should just draw stupid and maybe set. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Noted. Yeah, there was that. We have a sky and a fairy. A tiny little fairy. And we used every supply except for this one. I think. This one didn't really count because it was for the previous box, right? I think so. Still have one board left and the main canvas. Which is fine. Which is fine. It's good to have extras. Well, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. So, wow, okay, nice set of colors. Oh, I should have turned that off. Dang phone. <laughs>